Oh, man. What's wrong? Ah, <sighs> Kate, listen, Donna. Um, I know I said that we'd adopt your baby, but I messed up, and I really should have talked to Greg first. He doesn't want the baby? I'm sorry. It's just Greg's a planner. I mean, he won't even get on a plane without knowing where it's going. <laughs> Damn. I know, it's like, how do you go on vacation? <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it! You're angry, come on, just feel the feeling. Oh! Yeah. I think this is it. Oh, labor! Oh, oh. oh. God, this is great! <laughs> okay, take a deep breath. Good. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Right. How do you just in time, John is having your baby? Okay, let's not panic. <laughs> panicking, Greg. Good, because we shouldn't do that. There's no need for it. Um, <laughs> let's just, uh, we'll get her things and we'll go to the hospital. Why? She's not sick. Dharma, people have babies in hospitals. Yeah, I know. Isn't it horrible? Greg, <laughs> 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 right, would you call Abby? Why? She's a midwife. Unless you think that you and I can handle it alone. Oh, no, no, no. You're not going to do one of those home birth things. Oh, well, we don't exactly have time to get her into the woods, now do we? <laughs> Hello, uh, Abby, hi, it's Greg. Um, no, no, I didn't see it. No, I, I, I'm sure it was a bitchin' sunset. No, listen, Abby, <laughs> you gotta get over here. Donna's having a baby. Uh, hang on, hang on. Uh, hello? Dad, I can't talk right now. I gotta get Abby over here. Donna's having the baby. Abby, how soon can you get here? Don't worry, we'll be there just as fast as our little legs can pedal. Pedal? No, Abby, don't take the bikes. Please drive! No, Edward, tell me exactly what he said. He said he had to get Abby over there because Donna is having a baby. Oh, Edward, Donna. Who is Donna? I don't know. It's Donna! <laughs> Donna is pregnant. Oh, don't you ever listen. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure that he oh, said Oh, I told you. I told you this would happen. I told you that one day we would lose our son to those people. And now, look, our first grandchild is on the way and they are celebrating without us. Come on. Oh, Donna. I... <laughs> come on, come on, come on. How's it going up there? Uh, you know your favorite pillow? I don't have a favorite pillow. Good! I need a hammer. A what? A hammer. A hammer? Oh, honey, why don't you just wait for your mother? <laughs> Donna needs crushed ice. Listen, Greg, I talked to Donna, and I told her that we can't adopt the baby, and I just... I'm really sorry that I put you on the spot. It was totally unfair. Oh. Oh, well, uh, thanks. I mean, you have a right to feel the way you do, and I just shouldn't have tried to force you into it. Oh, uh, it's okay. You just have to remember, ugh, that you and I do things differently. <laughs> That's true. Um... <laughs> Listen, Dharma, I have a friend from law school who specializes in adoptions, and I'm sure he can find a terrific couple to adopt the baby. Great, that's great. <laughs> hey, that's my charm bracelet. I thought I lent that to Jane. That's weird. Um, thanks for understanding. I'm sorry I was so wool about it. <laughs> well, I mean, you can't make a decision that's going to change the rest of your life on the spur of the moment. I did when I met you. Yeah, but that's different. Up, 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 up. Nice. Uh, I gotta go. Is there anything I can do? Just answer the door. How'd you do that? I heard the elevator. I hope, that, I hope that's your mother. No, nope, it's your mother. Gregory, it's your mother. Okay, I don't know. That was just totally freaky. Hello, hello. What are you doing here? Gregory, don't you have something you want to tell me? Uh, stop by any time, no need to call. Gregory, when were you planning to tell us about this baby? Oh, that, I don't know. Why would you even care? Oh, Ed, do you hear what your son is saying? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> oh, Mama, that was a big one! What is going on up there? What do you think's going on? A woman's having a baby. How long were we in Europe? Gregory, this is not making any sense whatsoever. It's really very simple. Our supermarket checkout girl, Donna, is having a baby, and we're helping her. I'm sorry, what was that name? Donna. <laughs> Donna. Oh, bully for you, Ed. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank God you're here. Yeah. Not Hill. Very, very, very... Uh, very... bumpy. <laughs> yeah. Busy, bumpy. Uh, See? <laughs> 
And here, I got a good one. <laughs> How far apart are the, uh, the contractions? I don't know. She's upstairs. Okay, well, let's get to work. Hi, Kitty. Come on, you can help. You're not going to take this girl to a hospital. Why? She's not sick. Mother, maybe you can uh, give her a hand. Oh, I don't know anything about childbirth. What do you mean? You had me? Oh, Gregory, don't be vulgar. <laughs> Donna. Where are they taking her? She's having the baby in the bathtub. I beg your pardon? People have babies in bathtubs. I like to read in there until I get pruny. Edward, we're surrounded. Don't abandon me now. Oh, crap! 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 Larry, that is very annoying. The bell in general, or just this song? <laughs> Edward, I don't believe etiquette requires that we be present at the birth of a child whose mother works in our daughter-in-law's supermarket. We can see the baby. It looks just like this. <laughs> Don't you want to get in there and see your child being born? Your child? What are you talking about? Dharma and Greg are adopting Donna's baby. The baby's looking at me. Heads up! Heads out! <laughs> Oops, I'm the photographer. You are going to adopt that girl's baby? Donna. <laughs> we, we thought about it, but we decided not to. Well, thank God. This was Dharma's idea, wasn't it? Yeah, well, sort of. At least you have some sense, Gregory. That girl would take in every stray cat in the city if it weren't for you. Well, it's not a cat, Mother. It's a child. Of course, of course. But there are organizations, you know, that help girls when they get into this condition. That's what I told her. Good. As a matter of fact, I am hosting a benefit for unwed mothers next month. A wine-tasting cruise. <laughs> Actually, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Everybody's dressing as wenches and pirates. <laughs> Still, this... There's something to be said for getting in there and helping someone who's right in front of you. Oh, for God's sakes, Gregory, that's what nuns are for. <laughs> Believe me, you did the right thing. You don't make a snap decision on the spur of the moment that's going to turn your life upside down. Did when I met Dharma. We've got a big, healthy baby boy! Five, 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 and what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I changed my mind. I want us to adopt the baby. Really? Yes, really. Are you sure? Absolutely. I want to do this. I love you. <laughs> hey, you guys, we're going to do it. We're going to adopt the baby. Dharma, that's wonderful. <laughs> no, 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 no. We, we, we decided on the wine tasting cruise, didn't we? <laughs> we changed our mind. Come on, everybody. Meet the newest member of our family. That's a black child. <laughs> uh, Abby, I hate this. Saving the planet was your idea, Larry. <laughs> we'll give up the washing machine. No! And let go of my fender. I can't pedal anymore. You can't just stay on the bridge. You're right. I'll wait here. You ride home and get the van. Yeah. You wait right here, Larry. Abby? You're coming back, right? Abby?